My name is ATM, I'm a street artist and I focus on mostly endangered species because I want to draw attention to the crisis in British wildlife and hopefully um, help things to change. Yeah, my process really is um, when I find a wall or someone offers me a wall is um, getting a proper sense of the, the, uh, the space and the shape because every wall is unique and then I think about what species will fit or what shape or you know and then uh, do lots of drawings i do lots of drawings of the subject i've always loved renaissance painting i you know max beckman was is one of my favorite painters the way he uses color and different layers color to get different effects well, the first birds i did um was um in 2013 hit right here in south in south acton on the old south acton estate which has now unfortunately being demolished, the whole estate is uh, being rebuilt, but I did three birds there, snipe, a uh, grey partridge and a barn owl, and they were, I chose them because they were on Bolo Bridge Road and there's a, the, the river Bolo flows un, under, the, under the tarmac now, and it was once obviously um, a place with a river and open fields. Yeah, I painted the common toad in uh, Ruskin Park for uh, Frog Life, which is a conservation group. So um, they, yeah, again, they want to make people aware of to I mean, they've declined by 68% in the last 30 years. So, yeah, I painted the Chaffinch at Loughborough Farm, which is a great little um, community farm, um, right in the middle of an urban area where people, I mean, it was on toxic ground, but there were uh, local people were growing uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit in big, big uh, builders bags, old um, builders bags, which were a brilliant solution. And uh, the chaffinch there was, yeah, just painted on plywood panels, and it's um, it's start, it's decaying quite a lot now. I I painted the robin for um, London National Park City, uh, and that was, yeah, their their um, brilliant organisation. London is now the f the first designated national park city in the world and the whole idea of that is to make people more aware of nature and how um, little spot little natural hot spots can be connected and people can do more in their local area to help nature so that was a robin is a really nice symbol for that i did the painting in Hyams park for a local community group and they also commissioned an artist to uh, make some wooden sculptures in the area and so um, I basically had to come up with a design to fit that space that fitted between the trees and I wanted to um, paint some birds that could be seen locally it's, n it's not far from Epping Forest so I chose a tawny owl, a green finch, a great spotted woodpecker and a blue tit so yeah the mural I painted on Copper Mill Lane uh, was like a celebration of Walthamstow wetlands that was I painted that just before Walthamstow wetlands open to the public and it's like the biggest urban wetland in Europe and it's <coughs> amazing um, like several reservoirs have been um, reclaimed for nature I mean they're still used as reservoirs but they've also got big reed beds and uh, there's a, a cormorant colony living on one of the islands so that was um, so I, I painted I painted birds that that was for um, St James Big Local, they asked me to do that. It was part of the improvement for, for that area, they did a lot of other things as well. That was a lottery grant they got. I painted the Goshawk, which is also on Copper Mill Lane. That was for um, Global Street Art, they did something called Colour the Capital. And I, there was a um, forest recycling project supplied the paint for that. I painted the Sparrowhawk for the, in the Centre for Wildlife Gardening in Peckham which is a wildlife trust and um, I did that because um, a sparrowhawk is kind of a symbol of a healthy environment for small birds because that's what they they feed on and there, there were resident sparrowhawks there and uh, yeah they asked me I think there was a male that actually lived in the garden and so I painted the male on the wall and that was um, it was Dulwich Festival they actually asked me to paint that so it's part the painting was part of Dulwich Festival for the wildlife garden. Yeah, I painted the woodcock in Walthamstow, like the Walthamstow woodcock. I painted that for Wood Street Walls, their organisation. Um, they were finding walls and getting artists to paint walls all around the Wood Street area. I, I did, a, I've, I've done other things for them as well. I did pi, uh, two pied wagtails. 
Yeah, the painting behind me is uh, Kestrel and the Wildflower Meadow. Um, I painted the Kestrel and the, and the Meadow was a collaboration with Karen Francesca. And we, yeah, we wanted to, this is like a kind of an idealised image of my youth where kestrels were really common. And I, when, I, when I was young, I used to train kestrels and fly them as well. And um, the meadow, yeah, contains a kind of abundant life that would be found in a healthy meadow, which unfortunately is incredibly rare in, in modern Britain. They're, they just don't really exist anymore. You know, hay meadows have been replaced by silage and all the animals that live in them have, have gone. And yeah, so I, I just, Want to, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an image of how things could be and it's got lots of different amphibians and small mammals and lots of insects in there, so. Yeah, for me this is the best way of um, helping the planet as it were and um, making people aware of their actions or just making people aware of what exists.